Well, hello everybody and welcome to another video tutorial. My name is Peter Trachlitz and in this video tutorial I would like to show you uh, the proper way, the right way for adding some bones to a model, okay, in such a way that you don't, you won't have any problems later on when animating those bones. So uh, let me show you first the wrong way for adding bones and uh, here we have our dinosaur and here I have placed my cursor and let's say I wanted to add a bone chain for the tail of this dinosaur here. So shift A and uh, I'm adding a armature single bone. Okay, now let's tab into the mode and sel having selected this tip of the armature, let's move it somewhere here and by the way, let's go up here to the object menu and enable the X-ray option from the display tab here. Enable the X-ray option so our armature is always uh, visible. Now, first the wrong way. Well, normally I would like to grab this tip here and place it somewhere here. And now, since let's say I want it to have four or five additional bones here, all I, I wanted to do, I would like to do, would be to press E and extrude the bone. Well, this is not the right way for doing so. Yes, we can do this this way, but this is not the right way. And let me show you why. First of all, let me bring here the side panel by pressing N. Okay, and uh, let me first show you here. We have a uh, here in the tail. Okay, uh, in the tail um, uh, category here, we have what we call a roll angle. And this roll angle actually is the rotation of the bone around its own local z-axis. Okay, so if I scrub the slider, okay, for a given bone, you can see that I can rotate this bone around its local z-axis. Well, when we have a, a chain of bones, we usually want this roll value here to be consistent across all the, the bones in the chain. So let's first make this zero, okay? And for being more, for showing you better what I want to, to show you, uh, let's go ahead up here to the armature okay uh, object data to the armature here and enable uh, axis so now i can see for its bone its single bone i can see the actually the orientation of its of this bone all right so as you can see now the z axis local axis is looking downwards so let's go ahead and extrude this uh, this bone here so now my uh, first bone has a roll angle of 90 degrees okay so let's go ahead and and, and extrude this uh, bone here by pressing e again this is the wrong way since i am looking through the side of the graphic view well i won't have any strange results i will I, but okay, again i can see that i have already a different roll angle here of 180 again extrude this of course, the rest of them will be consistent, but look at that. The first has a roll angle of 90, the second has a roll angle of 180, which is exactly the opposite. This is something we don't want to happen, simply because later on in the animation uh, you know, stage or in the animation uh, part of the pipeline, uh, some weird results are going to happen if all the bones are not consistent as far as the roll angle is concerned. So what do I want to do here? A way to fix this is to select all the bones and press Ctrl N and recalculate roll. This is the shortcut for recalculating the roll. And I want to recalculate the roll along the local Z axis. So click on that and now you can see that all the bones have the same roll angle over here you can see all right so now i can safely go ahead and parent my object to this uh, armature 
and I can safely then uh, go ahead and and uh, animate the armature or pose or, or making a pose. Well, a more easy way for doing a bone chain, the right way, will be to uh, let's go ahead and select all the bones and delete them first. Will be to shift A, add a new bone, select the uh, select the tail of the bone and grab it, right, and bring it to the end, okay, of your tail. To, all right. So if I wanted my bone chain to start at this point and ending and to end at this point here well i just click and uh, you know and move uh, and and make a a single bone all right for all the chain and then i select pressing a selecting both the tail and the tip and i'm pressing w and subdivide those this bone here twice perhaps so i have four bones now well now you can see that the roll here is consistent all right and as you can see it has the value of zero now if you wanted to change this value to something like 90 degrees perhaps another way for uh, for aligning the bones the way you want the, the, them to be would be to select all of them and press ctrl r and ctrl r actually what does what it, this does is uh, allows to rotate our bones uh, around uh, their local you know z axis actually we're controlling the roll of the bones this way the imp the interesting thing with the control r shortcut is that you can either uh, you know uh, manually adjust the roll or you can type a value for the roll like 90 degrees all right so this way you can affect all the bones in the chain and make them have the same roll value a consistent roll value of course you could do this uh, individually for each one of them right but this is something you generally don't want to do because we want all the angles the roll angles i mean to be consistent now a very ad a very interesting uh, way we have alternative way we have for drawing uh, chains of bones in our armature that could be to let's go ahead first and uh, tab into edit mode here select all the bones and delete them would be to use what we call a uh, skeleton sketching and if you press n and bring this side panel here all right this side panel here when you are, have selected an armature and you are in the edit mode for the armature and if you scroll down a little bit um, here you can see somewhere here a, an option called skeleton sketching and what this does is that allows actually to sketch to draw a line okay and this line is going to uh, get converted into a bone chain very easily now go ahead and enable the skeleton sketching here and there are quite a few options here but we're going to stick with the basics uh, for now okay so uh, you generally want to set the uh, the type here to fixed either fixed or uh, adaptive we set this to fixed meaning that we have uh, the uh, option to uh, to define the subdivisions of the bones we want to be in the bone chain all right from uh, uh, beforehand i mean i let's say i wanted four bones to get drawn for a given length so now I'm holding down, hold down the left mouse button, click and draw those lines. All right, this line here, as you can see, four new bones have been added. Now, in order to make this line here a a a bone chain, an actual bone chain, you have to click on the convert button here. But by the way, if you don't like the line, you can just go ahead and delete the line by pressing delete on the keyboard. And try once more if you select the or the quick sketching here option then instantly after you left the mouse button and you right click to escape a new bone chain has been created if you have this unchecked so let's go ahead and delete all the bones all right now 
enable the stealth sketching and if you have this quick checking uh, unchecked disabled then you have manually to press convert in order to make the line an actual uh, bone uh, chain so let's stick with this for now let's click and drag right click cancel and convert and you have a, a skeleton as you can see if you uh, delete this line here and you uncheck this uh, and you can see that you have this kind of skeleton here very very easy in that case there you want always to um, to uh, check for the roll angle for its given bone all right so let's go ahead and select let's say this bone here you can see the roll angle to be 90 degrees again the roll angle is consistent but uh, in, in any case I mean in uh, either case uh, you want to select all of them uh, and just uh, just in case you want to press control N and calculate the normals around the Z axis so you have a uh, a nice easy made uh, you know uh, bone chain uh, ready for uh, rigging uh, now and ready for uh, parading the, the 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 tail of our dinosaur to it to this uh, bone chain all right so in order to recap if we want to um, to add the bone chain to our model then we have to make sure first that all the bones are facing towards the right direction meaning that the roll angles are all consistent and if we have accidentally changed the roll of certain bones okay by moving them and things like that then what we want to do is to first select all of them and press ctrl n and let blender recalculate the roll uh, along the z-axis so when the roll is consistent then we can press ctrl r and in with this shortcut we can uh, adjust manually the roll of uh, our uh, bones the roll angle to where we want it to be all right and of course first we select the bones we want to adjust the roll and we are rotating them around the uh, their local z-axis all right but if you try to do this from up here for example then only one of them is going to get adjusted as you can see all right so if you want all of them to get adjusted just press ctrl r and this is the way for adjusting the roll all right and you want always to do this before a uh, parent the object to the to the to the armature okay so um, when you have all your bones uh, consistent uh, in terms of roll uh, angle then you can uh, safely select your bone shift select your armature and press ctrl p and uh, and parent it with using automatic weights so that was our quick tip for today i hope you enjoyed it and you learned something from this if you like this don't forget to subscribe see you next time with another hopefully interesting topic hopefully soon um, until then have fun and goodbye